Okay, so deal three. It's got one no trump, three no trumps. Nice straightforward bidding. So I assume we're playing a strong no trump here. What have we got? Ace jack, ace jack. It's 10, 12, 16. Yeah, one no trump, strong no trump. North, our partner has got 9, 11, 27 points. Okay, so this should be a straightforward three no trumps. Uh, with 27, but I presume it's not because it's a challenge hand, of course. Um, so let's have a look. Top tricks we have two hearts, two clubs, three diamonds. So that makes seven. So we need two more tricks. Most of these hands are set up as a challenge hand to just try and make your contract. It's like a team's play imps kind of vibe. So we basically need to work out how to get two extra tricks. And there's the spade suit is immediately jumping out to me because play a spade, knock out their ace. Play a spade, knock out their king. We've got two spade tricks easily. So why isn't the hand dead easy? We win the heart, we knock out spade. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, they, they knock out their hearts. They're ahead of the game, so to speak. They're ahead in the race. If we win the heart and clear one of their spades, the ace or the king, they clear our other heart, so now we have nothing left in hearts. We clear their other spade, ace or king. They're then going to win all of their hearts. So we haven't got the time to set our spade tricks up. So two extra tricks would come from spades easily, but they've led the wrong suit. We would need them to lead a club or a diamond in order to have the time to do that. A heart lead has basically killed our spades dead. So we've got to decide how we're playing the clubs and the diamonds. So there's a possibility if the diamonds are 3-3 three, three, to make an extra diamond trick, in which case we would only need one extra trick from clubs. If the diamonds are not 3-3, three, three, we would need two extra tricks from clubs. So if we need all of the clubs, the best odds is to cash the king of clubs first and then play low to the jack playing a finesse east having like the queen or singleton queen or something we might have to finesse for the 10 depending on what we see west drop if west has got the queen and clubs to length and we need four club tricks we we can't do it unless we're psychic and we run the jack through them and the 10 drops with east or something but that's not the correct odds so if we need four club tricks the correct play is king of clubs then the low club to the jack unless we see an honor drop or something um, we might have to do some kind of clever club finesses with the jack nine eight. I think the jack nine eight being relevant is relevant in our hand. The fact that we've got the nine and the eight that's it's jumping out to me. So I think if we have to play some kind of clever club finesses towards south, I'm going to try and keep on to the king of hearts, keep hold of the king of hearts. Mm, so if we need all four club tricks, we can get to dummy with a heart. In fact, we'll be forced to dummy with a heart, I assume, at some point. Um, but we might only need three club tricks if the diamonds are three and three. So I'm going to test the diamonds first. I assume they're not three and three. And then we're going to play king of clubs and then play the clubs in the optimal way, which is catch the king of clubs first, see what West plays. And then usually you will play a finesse to the jack unless you see an honor drop from West. And we might need the king of hearts to be able to, to transport the lead to do some kind of other club finesse. So I'm going to hold on to king of hearts for sure. That entry is definitely important. Entries to hand are not relevant and plentiful. So I'm going to test the diamonds first. I suspect they're not three and three, and then we're going to have to play the clubs in the optimal way. I suspect that's the point. So cash three rounds of diamonds. Oh. The diamonds are three and three. Okay, so that means we've got to now play the clubs in a different way to assure three tricks. So what's the best odds in clubs to make sure there's three tricks? So the clubs are three, two, it doesn't matter because we're gonna make three tricks come what may. We'll just play the ace, king, and another. Doesn't, it literally doesn't matter in what order you play them, pretty much, as long as you play big ones eventually. Um, so we've gotta assume the clubs are four and one, right? So it's some kind of duck of a club. So if we duck the club, we don't know who's got four though. So if we knew east had four, obviously, we, we would be able to pick the suit up. If we knew west had four, we would be able to pick the suit up. How do we protect against either of them? Let me think about this. We catch the king of clubs first. West having four clubs kills us. So we can't do that. If we catch the ace of clubs first. East having four clubs. Does not stop us from making the jack, does it? But would we know in time? Because West could still have four clubs if we catch the ace of clubs first. What about if we run the eight of clubs? Or run the jack of clubs? 
So we win this diamond throw a spade. Well, I can do that because I know I'm going to win the diamond and throw a spade. So that's fine. It's about which club I play now. If I duck a club and they clear a heart. No, I can't duck a club because I don't know who I'm playing for 4-1. If the clubs are 3-2, it doesn't matter. So they're not 3-2. If the clubs are 5-0... I think I'm okay, because I'll find out in time, although I'm not sure actually. If, I, if Issa's got five and I cash the Ace of Clubs, well, I'm in big trouble. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I cash the Ace of Clubs, I find out Issa's got them all, cross the King of Clubs and then play Clubs towards the Jack, I win the Jack of Clubs. <laughs> so the Ace of Clubs is okay against East having long clubs. And the Ace of Clubs is obviously okay against West having long clubs, because I'm playing clubs through them. So that's got to be the play, hasn't it? If West has got long clubs, I play the Ace of Clubs, I find out... Oh, well, if they're 5-0, if they're East having 5 or West having 5, the Ace is the correct play. Okay, so if they're 4-1, and one, West has 4, I play the Ace of Clubs and then run the, say, 9 of Clubs through them. I'm assuming I'm not seeing an honour drop. If I see the Queen or the 10 drop on the Ace, then there's no play, there's no like nothing to worry about because I've got three club tricks, come what may. So I'm going to assume this... Well, have I decided the ace is the right play? The king can't be the right play, because that then doesn't protect against West having four clubs, or five clubs. If West has club length, I'm dead by playing the king. So I have to play the ace of clubs on this first round, I think. Yeah, and as suspects, I didn't see the ten of the queen, because that would make the hand easy. So now it's about, if there's four clubs here, and I duck a club, so I play the nine, if they play the ten, I let it win. If they're three and two, I'm fine, but they're not going to be three and two. The four and one, I've then got the marked finesse. Oh, but I can't get here. I've got an entry problem. So if it goes nine, ten, I have to win the king. If it goes nine low, I play low. If east wins and clears the heart. Oh, no. No, if East wins, that means West has shown out, so therefore I would know beforehand to know to play the King of Clubs. Okay, so I play the Nine of Clubs. So now, hang on a minute, let me think about this. The fact that West hasn't covered means that the Duck must be the right play. Because if I play the King of Clubs and I find out West has got club length, I'm off. If I play low and I find out East has won the club, the clubs have broken three and two, so I'm home. So duck must be right. So they've won the turn. So the clubs are three and two. I suspect they wouldn't have been if I played the suit wrong. So now I can catch the king of clubs. And the queen comes down. And then I win my ninth trick with the club. Okay, let's have a look at the solution. I think I got that right. I mean, the fact that I made it probably means I got it right. But let's have a look. So, West leads the jack of hearts. South wins in hand. Declare has seven top tricks. Two hearts, three diamonds, two clubs. Yep. Declare can eventually get two more tricks in spades, but by the time safe sp south spades are established, the defense of the way is clear and run the hearts exactly. So the spades are no good. Declare should test diamonds first. Good, I did that. Before playing on clubs. If the diamonds do not break, south needs four club tricks. He should cash dummies, king of clubs. Good, that's what I said. And then plan to finesse the jack, playing for one of the following distributions. Distribution one, queen on side, breaking. Distribution two, queen on side, breaking. Queen drop in. Distribution three, queen singleton, yep. Distribution four, ten singleton, yep. In the latter two cases, the heart trick must have been one with the ace hearts preserver later in dummy entry. Okay, good, so I did get, I did do that as well. Although I don't think we needed it in the way that we actually ended up playing the hand. If the diamonds are three, three, which they were, only three club tricks are needed, true. The club suit can always be played for three tricks by cashing the ace of clubs first. Yes, good, I got it right. So club to the ace, yeah. Then playing the eight, well, I played the nine, but same thing. Through West, intending to run it. So, if West has four clubs, there's nothing you can do. If East has four clubs, West will show out in the second round. South can now rise with Nord's King, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but I'll find out in time. And then play a low club towards the jack, exactly. Oh, good. Three for three so far. Well done, me.